All right, so this week, the Wall Street Journal, uh, there was an article in there that made the case for a no landing scenario for the economy. They pointed to a moderate uh, inflation and, of course, the resilient economic growth that we've experienced. But not long ago, my next guest was the only person on no landing island. And while others have joined, most experts still see a soft landing. So let's bring in Bianco Research President Jim Bianco. Hey, Jim, first and foremost, for the audience, what is the difference between a soft landing and a no landing? Good question, because soft landing really has no definition. Basically, a no landing is the economy grows at its potential, which it has been for the last six or seven quarters. And the, infl and the unemployment rate stays low, uh, which was what we've had happen. A, no, a soft landing is something weaker than that. It's kind of between a recession and the full growth. It's kind of, you know, an eh economy, if you can uh, use that word uh, as well. And that's kind of where uh, people think the economy's going. But I've been in this no landing camp that the economy is just continuing to be OK. Second quarter GDP was 2.8 percent. I think that most of the measures of the economy say that we're OK. There's no excitement that the Fed had to cut rates today or they have to cut rates in September because the economy is falling apart. I think it's there's more good data than bad data in this economy. So then, so let me point uh, play devil's advocate for a moment because I saw an interesting chart. And I want to get your thoughts on it. And this is essentially showing the markets and, and jobless claims. And going back to 1990, as jobless claims went up, the stock market, the uh, markets declined. And of course, we went into recession. It happened again there. It happened again here. It happened again here. In other words, it's been pretty good. And of course, right now, uh, initial claims are starting to climb higher. What do you say to someone who says, no, this is the reason we're going to have a hard landing? Uh, if you want to look at that in indicator in particular, it's Hurricane Burl in, in Texas that has led to about 30 or 40,000 initial claims going up because of the power outages and the like. You take Texas out, and that indicator is still pretty, pretty, is still pretty low. A lot of the job indicators are okay. The one exception is the unemployment rate, which has been heading higher. But then this gets into a very kind of touchy issue. Is the unemployment rate going higher because the economy is weakening? Or is the unemployment rate going higher because millions of unemployed migrants are coming across the border and they're getting picked up in the survey and that's swelling the amount of unemployed? There's a lot of data that suggests that that's what's happening with the unemployment rate. It's not a measure anymore of the economics of this country. It's a measure of the changing demographics of this country. Very different thing if that's indeed what's happening and, it was, and the response from the Fed should be very different as well. All right, I got to get your thoughts on this market, right? Uh, record rotation. This is the chart you shared. Uh, Russell uh, exploding higher than NASDAQ 100, the uh, NASDAQ rolling uh, going down. Today, uh, everything's up. I mean, in a session like today, does this sort of lend credence to a no landing scenario? Is this part of the Goldilocks scenario? Yeah, I would say it is. I'll give you one stat. There's never in American history has there been a recession in the month that we've made an all-time high in the stock market. We did earlier this month with the S&P, with the rally today, and tomorrow's August. We very well like could make another all-time high in August as well, too. But what the rotation has been doing, it's unprecedented that we've seen this big a rotation without the market declining. Every other time we've seen this kind of rotation, the market has been declining. So I think it's a lot of people getting themselves excited that the Fed's going to cut rates. That's going to help smaller companies reducing their cost of borrowing, you know, stimulating maybe some sales and some growth. And that's why they're all running away from the MAG 7s into the Russell 2000 small cap stocks. It's a good idea, but boy, it's been a right. record rotation unlike anything we've ever seen before. Yeah, often we say buckle up, boys and girls, but this time we mean it. Hey, Jim, thank you very, very much. And by the way, folks, 